I'm going to go get that cabaret club. Oh, shit. Stuff is already happening. It's <gasps> the underground dock. He needs drugs. Oh, that's right. He got shot twice. Got shot twice. I forgot about that. ちょうどリート話そう思うとったとこや。分かった。そしたら俺がついでに届けたる。リーズアフリカンタンキーズトゥ。ああ、あるよ。痛み止めの薬、これね。でも急いであげないと薬切れると打たれた傷の痛み
All right, so Mars was the club area that we just took over. We just took over that. Um, it looks like the Moon Club is definitely the the, the highest the, the the highest tier. There's like a little area over there I can't really do anything with. Mercury is probably it's between Club Mercury and Club Jupiter that's next for us. Oh, oh. Now let's start targeting Jupiter. Because we, we targeted Carl Mars. Mars is gone. Let's do Jupiter. Can we buy stores to get fans? I don't think so. Hmm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Uh, all right. Uh, yeah. Let's get it. It's Ai's new one. Ai's first customer in our club. She's so cute, right? Okay, so she wants a lady's glass. Lady's glass. Oh my goodness. Every single time, Majima. I like how they give me like a little wave, and I'm just like, yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, this guy's wealthy! Alright. I'm gonna switch her out. He doesn't like anybody. Oh, okay, he likes I. He does like I. Oh my goodness. Okay, we gotta start like. Mars was full of like poor guys. We gotta like really bring up our game here. Has Doll Dolly actually been out here yet? I know I have her on my thing, but I don't know if she's actually been out here yet. All right, well, this is the last one. There we go. We, we did a lot of gifts this this time. That's fine, though. But I feel like a lot of people are leveling up, especially I. Oh my goodness, she leveled up to level four? Where's Dolly at? Dolly's still only at level three. Oh no, Dolly, we gotta get you up. We gotta level up Dolly a lot more. Yeah, we gotta hit the, the fever on the wealthy people, but, like, it's hard because you don't really know exactly which one it's going to hit. It's, I think it's sort of random. Like, I can kind of place my, uh, my reticle over the wealthy people, but it's always, like, I don't know if it's actually available. Wait, new makeover stuff is available? Right, I just want to see what the new makeover stuff is. Oh! <gasps> There's bunny girl outfits. Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Of course we gotta go with the bunnies. Okay, look. Okay, look. 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 Anna's not here. She can't tell me not to. <laughs> Congratulations, Majima san. Now we have more than 800 fans in the Club Jupiter area. Yeah, right on. Which one was Club Jupiter again? It's a club owner named by a man called Kazuka. He was a tough looking guy out of the five stars who came by the other day. Ah, that guy. Yeah, he looked like a fighter. I bet he's going to be a pain in the ass. According to the rumors, Club Jupiter apparently handles all the dirty work for the rest of the five stars. Dirty work? I don't know what specifics, but I'm sure it's not exactly all on the up and up. I suppose it might be worth checking out Club Jupiter. You're right. But please, do be careful. We don't want to get caught like the last time. I get it. When I get some time, we should make it another attempt. Yeah. Alright, I don't want to go there just yet. I want to, like, keep working on my girls. 
Uh, so we're gonna keep playing, but let's do like other clubs. Maybe instead of doing Jupiter, let's just, like start doing Venus. Uh, talking and feeling like lovers. Love, love. We need lots of love. Oh, he's wealthy. <gasps> oh, he's really wealthy and he wants to talk to Obachan. Oh, he loves it. Oh, look at this cougar. Uh, already an ashtray, my goodness. He, he loves it. He really wants to talk. Oh, they're so happy with everybody. He likes the cheetah. He's all about that cougar. Oh my goodness. He hates everybody. Alright, let's uh, give gift. Oh my goodness. This cu these customers hate everyone. These mega rich customers hate everyone. Uh, menu? menu. There you go. I feel bad for these ladies now. They're gonna get like more stressed out because uh. They're gonna be all stressed out because they, they, these guys are like being angry at them. Oh, he, they hate everyone! Let's give her Yuki, my number one girl. Oh my goodness. I feel so bad. I can't do anything about it. They really hate people. I'm happy that Obachan is very, very um, experienced. I'm, I'm trying to please these guys. It's true. I know it's bad, like the way you said it, it's like, eh. but like this is hard. This was a hard one. I was hoping that they would like these ladies more. Obachan leveled up so much, though. We could <gasps> disco date. I mean, I kind of want to disco date Yuki. Let's be real. Yuki's Yuki's my girl. Let's go disco dating. Let's go practice a date. Let's go uh, practice dating one of those discos. A disco? I really don't visit those places. Well, I work hard to learn. Okay. They were really, those men were really picky. <gasps> yes, yes. Am I gonna dance with Yuki? Please tell me I'm gonna dance with Yuki. Yes, I'm dancing with Yuki. Look how cute she is. Okay, here we go. Oh god. I like the idea of Majima dancing like like around her like crazy. <laughs> the idea of Majima like peacock dancing around uh, Yuki is just great.
Also, Majima lives a blessed life being able to do this. It's so good, right? It's so good. Yuki, you didn't even get four. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry, Yuki. I had to prove that I was the dancing king. It's like, we could go check out Cope Jeep. Yeah, let's, go, let's go check it out. Yeah, let's go. I was waiting for you. All right, Thank let's go you. take a little field trip to Kazuka's Club Jeep Order. Ah, yes. I would love to, but unfortunately, I have a few urgent things I need to take care of. Oh, okay. He's got a poop. That's really what it's about. It's oh, like shoot. I can't go. Let me write something down real fast. Okay. You being real with me? You ain't scared of old Kazuka, are you? What are you trying to say, Majima-san? I really do have to work to finish before tomorrow. Trust me. Eh? I don't know about that. But whatever. Guess I'll make the trip all by my lonesome Come today. <gasps> Hold on a second. We'll go too. We can let you go by yourself. Ai-chan, Yuki-chan. It's nice of you to tag along, but you sure about this? Things may get a little more hairy than you're used to. <laughs> oh, be fine. We know you'll protect us, Majima-san. <laughs> well, that's true, Ai-chan. I'll protect you no matter what happens. Ugh. You protect me too, right? Haha, <laughs> of course. <laughs> what? <laughs> what was that? Hey, you paused. Did you have to think about that? He's so... I love Majima. I love that he, like, teases her. Hmm. He's such a tease. Mm -hmm. Majima's always a tease. <laughs> what is this? What is this hiding? He's hiding. Listen, listen. No. Majima knows exactly what he's doing. So this he is Kizuka's exactly. club. He's hiding behind a pole. <laughs> Stealth. Stealthy. This is Rhaegar when he rolls for stealth. And then that's Brittany and Christina right there. Right. Like, all right, what are you, what are you doing, Rhaegar? What are you doing? <laughs> it looks flashier than sunshine. Don't be intimidated, Yuki-chan. Our club is just as great. We can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with them. You're right. We won't be defeated. Boy. Shush. Someone's coming. Oi. Okay, boys, did you manage to collect all those dead beats we talked about? Yes, sir. Just like you said. We went to the guy's work, gave him a little scare. He paid right away. <laughs> Heh, good. And you? Yeah, I held his wife and kid hostage. Easy money. Jesus. Good, good. Well done. And we'll meet our quota. Sir, we just got a request from Tsukiyama-sama to take care of a customer on the Club Moon's blacklist. Uh. Damn, again? That bastard, Tsukiyama. I'm real tired of having to do his dirty work and, like, I'm his personal bitch. Well, nothing well. for it. Oh, that's you. <laughs> Sorry. Well, nothing for it. Boys, change plans. After you do your thing at the club I told you about, bring Tsukiyama's customer to the usual torch tor the usual what? torture room? That implies that there's more than one torture room. It's it's the Got it's it? the chocolate one. Cause that's what we just chocolate did our torture? We just uh, redid our, our club as chocolate. Which literally just changed the what? seats and tables to like brown. <laughs> okay. Is it known as the chocolate? It's just oh, chocolate. No. It's just chocolate decor. It's just chocolate. Okay, okay, okay. Love it. <laughs> Betty, yes, don't sir. threaten me with a good time. <laughs> so that's the five stars. Dirty work that Yoda-chan was talking about. Majima. So, so Majima. good at hiding. Yeah, he's the best at hiding. They're talking about torture. Should we call the police? Nah. We call the cops. Even if they do their jobs right, only those guys get caught. They'll never give up Kizuka's name. 
So no one can pin any crimes on him? Uh. Hey, it's Saki-chan! Hmm? Hmm? Saki-chan? Whoa. That's you, Jeff. Uh, Kizuka-san, we need to let the girls take more time off. Uh -huh. Eh, Saki? What's wrong? You need a break? Mm hmm. I'm not asking for myself. Some of these poor girls have worked so much, they're getting sick. <sighs> They don't got the stamina to do the job that I don't need them at my club. They want time off. Tell them to ask me to buy a face. Not that they'd have the guts. Mm, they don't. That's why I'm asking. <sighs> oh, Saki. If everyone was as gifted as you are. But well, that's enough chit chat. Let's go back to work. We got some ch chatter to make. Ch Wait, Kazuka-san. I wasn't finished. Club Jupiter's number one girl, Busy B. Saki. Oh my god, I love these names. Busy B, really? They say she has the most stamina of all the hostesses who work in Sotenbori. <laughs> <laughs> She's the reigning <laughs> champion of working the most consecutive days. No one's beaten her record yet. Wait, who's keeping oh. record books on the hostess trade? All the same, Saki seems like an amazing lady. <laughs> She's famous, and if you're in the cabaret club industry and don't know Saki-chan, you're just a poser. Shit. So, Club He's Jupiter... Like, uh... Yeah, right? <laughs> club Jupiter has a busy bee, Saki? That'll make him tough customer. Let's go back to the club. I bet you had a chance getting lonely all by himself. Uh... So lonely. <laughs> she has the most stamina for any hostess club member. The most. What is... <laughs> The know. most stamina. <gasps> Yoda! Yoda! Oh no, they got attacked, probably! <gasps> oh no! Yoda-chan! Majima-san. Oh no. Hey, you okay? What the hell happened? Just has some stomach indigestion. Mm. Oh, oh no. no. Three men wearing black barged in and started beating on me. This they music. said they wouldn't allow us to interfere with Club Jupiter's business. Uh, were they Kizu Kizuku's men? That's beyond awful. Damn it, I'm going over to Club Jupiter right now to give them a taste of their own medicine. Hold on. Uh -huh. What? What is it, Yodachan? Please, come closer. I need a <laughs> smooch. I don't want you to take revenge. Uh. If we do, we're no better than the five stars. But... No. Now we have to fight them fair and square. Or this will have no meaning. So please... <laughs> no acts of vengeance. Yoda-san. Alright, Yoda-chan. You're the boss. <laughs> That's good. Yoda-chan! No. The end for me. You just got beaten up. You're not dead. I'll look over you, Majima-san. And everyone else from heaven. Forever. Oh. Yoda-chan? <laughs> this can't be. Oh, no! Damn it. I never should have left him alone. Damn it. Damn it! Yoda no, he's not dead. Can't. He's not dead. Yeah. You worked so hard for us. How could this happen? This ain't happening. You gotta take down the five stars together. Come on, wake up, Yoda Chan. Yoda Chan! Yeah, he's asleep. Yeah. It's so dramatic. Wait, this fool's breathing. You're right. He's snoring. What? Hey, Yoda Chan. He just wanted wake up. a nap. He's fast asleep. I can't believe it. <laughs> but I'm glad Yoda Sod is okay. I'm really glad. <sighs> Got a big heart, Aichan. Kizuka and Club Jupiter were going to get them back by beating them fair and square. He'll pay for this with interests. Some unreasonably damn interest. No, can't eat another bite. So full. <laughs> is this guy for real? That was so dramatic. 
That was the most. Oh, he's fine. Yeah, he just fine. needed a little nap. <laughs> oh, we have more than fifteen hundred fans for the Club Venus area. I oh, see. Yay. Which one was Club Venus? It's the club owned by Kanehara, that pretty boy who used to be a host. I hear oh. he uses his looks to make his girls do whatever he wants them to. Oh, oh God. Girls actually fall for that old crap? Who knows? Girls love a good looking guy. I mean, it's true. Also, Kanehara is apparently in a relationship with Chika chan, Club Venus's number one girl. <gasps> the scandal. Mm -hmm. I remember that guy being pretty touchy. But he was that good looking? I can't remember his damn face. Maybe we should go to Club Venus and take a look. We should always take a look. <gasps> Dolly! Who's this? Is it Dolly? Yeah. Boy, just says girl. I mean, she's dressed I like Dolly. I wonder if it's just random, like it just chooses a random Maybe. woman. Yoda-san, where did you keep the club's customer data and financial information? Hey. It's on a shelf in the back office. Hi. Okay, that's next on my list to organize. I don't think she's part of our club. Who, who is that? Who's there she? There we go. When do we hire a hostess like that? <laughs> oh, that's Oish Oishi-san. I hired her to do administrative work. She came in with her resume the other day. She's really good at it, and she's been so very helpful. I don't uh, know. This is a trap. This, yeah. They're Rad using her to snoop mm -hmm. on us. We're adding people to our back office, too, huh? Looks like we're really growing. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's keep working towards defeating Club Venus. And when you're ready to check them out, just say the word. Let's go. That's gonna... That's not gonna... I'm worried. Oh, wait. Let me check out. save. I haven't saved in a while. Let me just yeah, yeah. save. They're staff only. Randa's good to her high party? Uh-oh. <gasps> What's with the music? It's seductive music, Jazz. Guess one of the girls left the radio on? Talk about absent-minded, jeez. Huh? Where's the damn off switch? This button here? I just know how to work a boom box. Whoa! <gasps> <gasps> Jazz! Dolce Kamiya! Do we finally get to write Jazz. our own postcards? Jazz. Jazz, this is what you've been waiting for. I think I did. All I did was change the station. <laughs> As always, we kick the show off with shout outs to our faithful listeners by reading off their postcards. Dolce Kamiya no Yeah. Ah, oh, this DJ voice is killing me. Where's the damn off switch? The thinking driver son? Thinking driver. Hi, Dolce Kamana san. I listen to your show all the time. Hello to you too, and thanks. I have a girlfriend I adore, but this morning at breakfast, we got into a huge fight. That doesn't sound like a complete part of anyone's morning. The argument was over what kind of condiment to put on the sunny sun. Didn't we? Didn't this happen with Kiryu too? Probably, but the answer is always hot sauce. Yeah, people really argue about whatever go what a what yeah, oh oh goes on a fried eggs. eggs. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I use soy sauce like any self-respecting Japanese man, but she used tonkatsu sauce. Can you believe that? Well, everyone has their preferences. This is the exact same story. Mm -hmm. Since then, we haven't exchanged a single word. Some things are important enough to take a stand on. Maybe so, but I think some things aren't so important either. Yes, what do you put on your eggs, Kamina san? <laughs> the thinking driver son, you're making a monstrous boo boo fighting with your girl over something like that. I think you need to apologize for being so saucy. Whoa! By the way, I put ketchup on my fried eggs. How is this goofy ass radio show? They actually read postcards live on the air without about this dri oh, dribble? Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, would you so look at this. Yeah, yeah, we get it. We get it. Quick. We've yeah. This before. A million yen? Uh, see you next time. This lunatic is going to fork over a million just for writing to his radio show? What a world we live in. It makes you question the value of money. Look at Majima. He's I just know. like, mm. like that, is, that is a constipated face. Mm -hmm. Even worse, they really read postcards about fried eggs fight on live on the air. But I could write in twice and be twice as interesting. Hey, Majima-san. Is Dolce coming to show over already? Uh -huh. 
Yeah, he just went off the air, actually. First time I heard it, but that stuff's bonkers. I think it's very entertaining. His show is known for the pointless postcards he reads in a silly commentary. It really makes you want to tune in every day. <sighs> Yuki-chan, didn't know we had an expert in the house. That means you're the one guilty of leaving the radio on. Oh, sorry. I heard an ad for coming to show, and it gave me an idea to write a, for a postcard to write in. I went out and bought some, actually. But now I forget what I was going to write in about. I know it was amusing, though. So you've been writing in, Yuki-chan? You ever, ever get a postcard right on the air? I kind of doubt it, knowing you. <sighs> He's so hey. mean to her! Not yet, but I will. There's a ton of people who write in, you know, so it's not as easy as it sounds. Huh? You sure about that? I bet I can get one on there as easy as snapping my fingers and clicking my heels. Fine then, Majima-san. Put your money where your pen is. I'll leave some postcards for you on the table. <laughs> Consider it done. The three postcards ready live on the air and a million yen coming right up. It's already in the bag. <laughs> Everyone thinks that at first. Just don't cry if you don't make the cut, okay? Give me some time. I'm going to cook up some humble pie and serve it to you cold, Majima style. He's so rude to her. So rude. All right. Let's go. I love this so much. <laughs>